Hi everybody, it's Karen here from TapasColor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, something slightly different today. Normally I show you a, uh, a finished project that I've been working on, but today uh, I thought I'd take a little bit of time and show you a couple of techniques. And uh, I posted a picture of this on my Facebook page uh, a few days ago and uh, quite a few people said, will you show us how you did that? So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Stay with me and you'll find out how I put this together. For my background, I've got a little piece of uh, watercolour paper and I've got some uh, ways of applying ink to my acrylic block. Now, I've got three of the, um, the mini stamping spots. They come like this, they come uninked. You get five uh, at a time and you just ink them up with, with re-inkers to be whatever colour you want them to be. Uh, and I've got Pacific Point and I do write what they are on the bottom, otherwise I'll never remember. Tempting turquoise and a bit of pumpkin pie. Um, you could also use your uh, Stampin' Write markers. Uh, it's exactly the same ink. Um, but you use whatever, you know, whatever inks you happen to have around. I happen to like the Stampin' Up ones. Um, I've also got a spray bottle uh, with some water in it. It's ordinary tap water, nothing added to it. There's no magic ingredient. So I'm going to take my um, my acrylic block to begin with and I'm just going to apply some colour and I'm going to start with scribbling on some Bermuda Bay down there and let's have some pumpkin pie. Okay, around there, that looks nice. And what's next? Tempting turquoise, I think. And I'm just applying these quite generously okay the more ink you put on and I'm letting the colors run together you know not being not being precious about it at all they're just all mixing up and being really good friends and having a really nice time so now I'm going to spritz my acrylic block and when I've got it nice and wet all over uh, I'm going to pick it up and drop it down onto my uh, my watercolour paper. Actually, I think it's probably easier if I do it the other way around. Let's do it that way, because I have been struggling. And as you can see, the ink is, uh, is going out in all directions there. So let's turn the whole thing over so I can kind of see the results I'm getting. And um, I'm going to put a weight on top. Okay and press that down. Now, as you can see, I forgot to mention, but I did protect my work surface and that is why. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for five minutes. Five minutes is like the magic time when it is uh, just long enough for the ink to transfer, but not so long that it starts drying up and getting sticky. Okay, if you take, if I was to take the block away now, um, my colours would be, would be quite pale. They wouldn't have absorbed into the paper. So I'm going to leave that there for five minutes and then I'm going to come back to it. This has now had the magic five minutes. So I'm going to take the um, the weight off. Now I happen to, think, happen to use a, a larger block. It could be anything. It just needs to be something that will press down on the top of your block and give it a, um, you know, make sure that, you, that it stays in contact with your watercolour card. And I'm just going to take that away. And I've got some little, um, little leaks of colour here, and that's fine, that's absolutely normal, that's what you expect to happen. Okay, and there is my, my watercoloured uh, background. Now, uh, I'm going to leave that to get really, really dry, and then we will move on uh, and make something with it. So here it is, it's had uh, lots and lots of time to dry and uh, now I'm ready to do the next step with it. So for this particular project, uh, I'm going to do some stamping. Now uh, the stamp I've got here is from the, let me bring it in here, it's from the Background Bits stamp set. Now this is a hostess set or Stampin' Rewards set, which means that you can't just buy it. Uh, you can only get it with Stampin' Rewards, and you can get Stampin' Rewards uh, when you your order 
is for £150 uh, or more before postage and packing and of course in one order okay so I'm uh, I'm going to stamp off onto my bit of grid paper and I'm just going to stamp on to my watercolour card okay and I'm going to repeat that until I've filled or covered my background okay it's a bit of a gap there but I'm not gonna worry unduly about that stamp off twice and I'm just gonna fill that bit in so I've got a very nicely grungy background for the next step I'm going to be using some of this fusible web now it's the same sort of material that uh, they make the iron-on hemming tape out of the um, your wonder web or uh, something like that and it's just a big sheet of it now this particular brand which is by hemline uh, I find this works for this technique you need to be a little bit careful because not everything uh, behaves in the same way that this one does now this stuff's quite inexpensive so um, you might want to uh, check out different brands and see if they will work for you generally speaking the paperback ones don't work that well because what you want is a material that when you heat it will kind of melt all right so what I'm going to be doing um, because I'm going to be having my heat gun on and that gets quite noisy uh, I'll talk you through what I've done so I've pinned a piece of my fusible web on top of my uh, my watercolour paper can't speak tonight um, and I've pinned it onto um, a cork mat okay uh, and I've got a bit of baking parchment underneath it that's just so that um, my uh, embossing powder doesn't stick where I don't want it to stick so what I'm going to do is I am going to heat my fusible web and as I do that you will see it starts to melt and starts to go into um, a sort of fairly holy pattern and when I've got it to where I want it I'm going to dump my copper embossing powder onto it uh, and then I'm going to reheat it with the embossing powder Okay, so that's all going to be quite noisy because of the, the heat gun. So uh, uh, give you some music to listen to. And uh, here we go. Oh, I'm going to have the heat gun on high, by the way. And there it is, there is my finished uh, embellishment which I die cut out using the star that comes with the mini treat bag uh, thinlets. Okay, there's the, the rest of the piece, the, the leftover, and if I had um, a small punch, uh, I could punch some extra pieces out of this, so I'm definitely not going to be throwing that away, or I could trim it down. And I could have that as a um, as, as an aperture on my card. Okay, so yeah, so although that looks like scrap, that is not scrap. That is that will be used. Uh, and just to show you, this is the uh, the first one that I made. And um, the colours I used on this one were sweet sugar plum, uh, perfect plum, and cherry cobbler. And I've stamped on there in cherry cobbler. And I used gold embossing powder on uh, on my fusible webbing so uh, there it is um, I'm going to take these away and uh, put them onto the front of the card and possibly stamp a little sentiment underneath it and uh, 
Well, I've done that. I will put the picture at the end of the video. If you want to know uh, where I got my fusible webbing, I will put a link below the video uh, to the place where I got it from, which was actually Amazon. Um, and that is in the UK. Uh, if you're in anywhere else in the world, then just search for fusible webbing. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed uh, this slightly different video today, and I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. But for now, bye-bye.